Hello everyone, I'm Winter. Today we are going to compare the grammars to express the reason or cause, adjective or verb, 아서, 어서, and adjective, verb, 으니까. First of all, all of these two grammars are used that the preceding clause indicates the reason or cause or basis for the following clause. Let's see the example sentences. 날씨가 좋아서 공원에 나들이를 가요. 날씨가 좋으니까 공원에 나들이를 가요. And both grammars can be combined with yo without the following clause and used as a final ending. For example, 왜 이렇게 아침 일찍 나가요? 갈 길이 멀어서요. 갈 길이 머니까요. Now, let's see the differences. First, for adjective verb 아서, 어서, imperative or purposive sentences cannot be used in the following clause. On the other hand, adjective or verb 으니까 can be used with imperative or purposive sentence of the following clause such as 아요, 어요, 읍시다, 드세요, 을까요, 을래요. So, let's check which sentence is correct with the example sentences. Read the correct expressions along with me. 시간이 없으니까 빨리 갑시다. 다리가 아프니까 잠시 쉴까요? 날씨가 더우니까 물을 많이 드세요. Second, adjective or verb 아서, 어서 cannot be combined with the past tense marker 앗, 어. But adjective or verb 으니까 can be combined with the past tense marker 앗, 어. Let's see how we can say it through example sentences. Repeat the correct expressions after me. 한국에서 어학원을 다녔으니까 한국어를 잘해요. 감기에 걸렸으니까 병원에 갔어요. 이 영화를 봤으니까 다른 영화를 보고 싶어요. Third, Adjective or verb 아서, 어서 is mainly used to express general reason. So, it is used to explain the result of a change in a general natural phenomenon. For example, 비가 내리지 않아서 가뭄이 심각해요. However, adjective or verb 으니까 is mainly used to indicate a subjective reason, the premise of the claim, or basis of for comment. Further, it is used when the other party also knows about the topic under discussion. 왜 이번 주 토요일 수업을 취소했어요? 좋아하는 가수의 콘서트에 가야 해서요. In this case, you can consider it is a general reason to cancel an appointment because you have other appointment. 왜 이번 주 토요일 수업을 취소했어요? 좋아하는 가수의 콘서트에 가야 하니까요. In this case, it's a reason for subjective behavior. And if you assume that the other party already knew or should know, it can sound disrespectful and annoying at times. Let's look at one more example sentence. 왜 이렇게 늦었어요? 일이 많아서 늦었어요. 왜 이렇게 늦었어요? 일이 많으니까 늦었어요. Lastly, adjective or verb 아서, 어서 can be used with common greetings such as 반갑다, 미안하다, 죄송하다, 고맙다, and 감사하다. But, Adjective or verb 으니까 cannot be used with greetings. Let's see example sentences. Repeat the correct sentences after me. 만나서 반가워요. 늦어서 미안해요. 
응원해 주셔서 감사합니다. So far, we have compared grammars, adjective or verb, 아서, 어서, and adjective or verb, 으니까, expressing a reason. Download the exercise file from the link in the more section to see if you understand. And don't forget to make your own sentences. Thank you. 감사합니다. 다음에 봐요.